Welcome back, little beans. Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beans who are in the need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite anime character. There won't be any NSFW versions of this ASMR. This is for all ages and it's appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blankies, plop in your headphones, snack on some pockies, sip on some Earl Grey. Also, a big trigger warning. This ASMR does carry a really heavy topic that includes pedophilia, human trafficking towards minors, and disturbing content. If you find this stuff very sensitive or uncomfortable or it's not your cup of tea, or it just hurts your stomach just thinking about it, then you may click off this video immediately and move on to the next one. However, if you're still sticking around, um, I hope you enjoy. So what's our next mission, Ciel? It appears the queen has sent me a letter on the child that she needs to return back home. Oh. So technically you're saving a child. Let's see. The name's a listener and he's a boy. He's about our age, so... What does he look like? The queen told me he has blank hair, blank eyes, and blank skin. Hmm, okay. What about height? Uh... Yeah. Okay, so not that tall or short, possibly around our height. Yes, and according to the Queen, he's been kidnapped by a trafficker. Are you saying we're saving a child that's being held by a trafficking ring? Correct. It is known to be one of the most infamous rings around London. It's run by a woman. A woman, you say? I bet she's not very lovely at all. Oh, she is more than just lovely. She is known for kidnapping and selling children off the markets. Her own interests are little boys under the age of 5 through 14. <laughs> are you alright, Eloise? <laughs> Sorry. That's just the most horrid thing she's ever done. She only sells them for labour. Slavery. And of course... Don't say it, please. Of course, I understand. I just can't believe there's still adults out there thinking it's alright to do that to a child all because they want money. It is indeed sickening what greed does to you. I've been through that. <laughs> it's alright, Alois. You're not the only one. We're here to save a child from being sold to those perverts. Yeah. So, what's the plan to save Listener? Of course, we have to be in disguise. We must tell the woman that we are here to, you know, buy a child. Oh, alright then. So, how are we going to do that? We are going incognito as young ladies. Why young ladies? Well, her main audiences are older women that are mostly interested in young boys to keep. Oh, so there's such things as female pedophiles. You know, when it comes to women, they get away with anything. That's so disgusting. They deserve prison time too. So Sebastian will help us get us in the dresses, and then we head inside. Alright. I can't believe we're going to meet this lady. At least she won't recognize us as being little boys. Mm-hmm. So we got a description of what listener looks like. If that is the child that we are looking for, that's them. Alright. It appears we're almost there to the mansion. Oh my, it's so sinister. Behind those doors, young children. Crying for freedom. It's horrifying. Indeed. 
All right, we must get in our dresses quickly. All right, what color are you getting? I'll just have the white one. No fair, how come I can get the white one? Fine, you can have the white one, I'll have the blue one. Okay, now I want the blue. Alois, just choose a dress, we're undercover. Okay, okay. All right, Alois. It appears we look like women now. Now, let's knock on to the door. Yeah. Um, are my boobs even? Alois, the fake. I know, but I still need to look like a woman. They're fine. Thank you. Is it only her, or does she have servants? She has servants. It's a lot of maids, technically. So it's a female predator sex ring. Well, trafficking ring, yes. Run by women. Oh, right. Why, hello? Um, hello. Um, we are here to, um... We are on the search for a little boy to be our little toy. Oh, why, why didn't you say so? Follow me to the brothel room. Oh, disgusting. I know, Eloise, you'd be doing fine. What a remarkable place. Uh, are you the leader or just the maid? Oh, I'm just the maid, dear. Our royal mistress was just getting ready. She just got out from her bath. Oh, okay. Will she be meeting us in the brothel room? Why, of course. Well, head inside. There's some wine and some snacks. And a little book, if you want to choose on who you want. There's so many options. <laughs> Why, thank you. You may leave us be while we wait for her. Of course. Have fun. Thank you. Oh my god, this place. I feel a bad aura surrounding it. Me too. Even the scent as well. It's giving me deja vu. I know. But let's look in through the notebook. Oh yeah. I think Brussels do carry that. Let's see if listeners hear. My goodness. What? Most of them are sold. Oh dear. Little Darian, age seven, sold to China. Oh my. Little Michael, age eleven, sold to Berlin, Germany. See, I think I'm going to be sick. I understand. I, I feel like I want to puke right now. Um. Here, 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 Aloise, here. Are you alright? It's just my stomach hurts. Just seeing all this. Oh man, after we save listener, I want to kill this bitch. I understand, Heloise, but Sebastian will get her. I promise. I promise, Heloise. I'll kill her for you. Promise? Because no child ever deserves this. I understand, Heloise. I hear the door open. Quickly, um, sit down. Okay. Why, greetings, young ladies. Oh, you must be the headmistress of this mansion and brothel, right? Why, certainly. I am my lady, Destiny Anderson the second. It is a pleasure to meet you, ladies. And what are your names? Well, my name is Robin, and this is my dear friend Alice. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Destiny. So, my maid told me that you ladies wanted a little boy of your own, right? Why, certainly. We were looking at the notebook, but it turns out most of them are sold. Do you have anyone that's, uh, open? Why, certainly I do. Well, sadly, most of them are sold, but I do have one little boy for you. I must say, he is really adorable, very vulnerable, and very quiet. Is that what you're interested in, ladies? Why, yes, of course. 
yeah, we do like them quiet and vulnerable and weak. <laughs> Alice, I think you're gripping with excitement. Mostly anger. Um, care that we meet this little fella? Why, certainly. Um, be right back. This must be at Aloise. Could this be listener? Probably. But remember the description, right? Yes. We'll look at him and see if it is. Mm hmm. Alright, here he is. Come on, listener. I said come in. That's it, boy. Come on. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think, ladies? He is quite a keeper. Eloise, it is. That is listener. Well, this is Listener. He's only 12 years old. He's... Mm, he's half of this and half of that. Beautiful hair. Very fit and skinny. Quite a... <laughs> he's quite a cutie. So, um, maybe I can leave you ladies be with him or give you a private room. Oh, no thank you. Actually, we would like to be private with him. Get to know him. Not just emotionally, but physically too. Hmm, alright then. Follow me, listener. Be a good boy. Oh god, I want to slap that bitch right out of here. Calm down, Eloise. This is the only way. Plus it comes with the window. Which means we'll meet Sebastian there. A good idea. All right, we're here. Now you ladies have fun with listener. And don't be afraid to go either gentle on him. Be a good boy, listener, and maybe you'll get to go home. You better not go anywhere but me. Do you understand? Good, because you are not for sale for anyone. You better not escape. If you do, I'll put you back in the cage. Oh, I will. Anyways, have fun, ladies. I'll leave you all be. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Destiny. <laughs> oh, God, I want to murder her so bad. Don't worry, Eloise. Huh? Oh, you didn't know. We're actually boys in disguise. Listener, before you say anything, we are here to save you. Well, yes. The Queen has sent us to Undercover to save you from here. Yes. And don't worry about her. My friend Seal's butler would take good care of her. And I mean, good care of her. Eloise, that just sounds so sadistic. You know my nature, Seal. Anyways, let's go through the window. Sebastian might be there. Excuse me? Are you saying the windows are shut and there's bars behind it? What kind of a sick woman is she? Does she know you're trying to escape? Well, we are, and we're taking you with us. Back to the Queen. Eloise, give me the tools. Oh, hold on, it's right under my, um, hold on. Here we are. We're gonna saw it out. Go ahead, Sia. Oh, it's my name. My name is Aloise Trancy. Um, I'm the head of the Earl of the Trancy Manor. Over there, that's CL Phantom Hive. Oh, so you know me. Hmm. Of course, we all share a lot in common. We've been through something like what you went through, listener. Exactly. We went through what you went through. With some disturbed adults out there. And what we escaped. Why? Because we have butlers that protect us. <sighs> Almost there, just sawing it. Take your time, CL. I'm not sure about the timing. So, let's see if I can get you out of those chains. Oh, they are really on there tight. Don't worry, I have a tool for it. Alright, I got it open. No, do I need to... There we go! <laughs> Looks like we're heading out now. And I think Sebastian's down there, right? Mm-hmm. He's waving his arm. 
All right, listener, are you ready? Don't worry, she won't find us. Well, you're too late. Uh, how did you... <laughs> did you really think that you're going to take my little personal slave with you? Oh no, that's never gonna happen, sweetheart. And I did know behind those disguises. Cute little femme boys. <laughs> you two will go really well in my little cage. Over my dead body, bitch. You're not going anywhere, you two. You're staying with me. And you're going to be my personal slaves, too. At least I have three little boys. <laughs> Pardon me, ma'am, but you are talking to my headmistresses. And you probably don't want to mess with them. Uh, uh. And who might you be? A savior. <laughs> It's all right, listener. She's gone. She's never gonna hurt you again. It's all right. Well, looks like I got it done. I guess I'll be ready to head back to the Queen. Why, certainly. It's about time that you knew. Why, of course, I don't want you, my young master, to be kidnapped again. Hey, what about me? And you too, Sir Trancy. Anyway, we must report this back to the Queen. Come on, listener. Don't worry. You're going to be going back to your family. They were so worried about you. Uh, uh, <gasps> <gasps> Don't thank us, listener. We're just doing our job. Yeah, protecting children. Like, like you. Like we said before, we've been through hell like what you've did. So, we want to save all of you. Well, we may not save everyone, but at least the ring is over. Yeah. Now then, let's all go back to the courage. I made some tea and there's some crumpets inside there too. Oh, crumpets, nice! Come along, listener. Let's take you back home. Mm-hmm. Now, of course you can hold my hand. Again, we mean no harm. We're just doing our job in protecting you. Yes, listener. You are finally free from hell. <laughs> what an adorable smile you have. Indeed. Hi, you beans. This is Ali, and I just want to say to the ones that finished this video or made it to the end of the video, I just wanted to tell you that this is only for storytelling. However, this has been based on very true events that is still going on to this very day. Human trafficking is no laughing matter. It is still going on to this very day, running under our noses. Over millions of women and children all around the world being sold for mostly the sick needs of the most greedy, high, mid, and low class. Selling the innocents for labor, mining, harvesting, and yes, SEX. I made this ASMR to sp not only create a story, but to spread an awareness of the dangers of the most greediest people ruining the innocents just to make money. It truly is a very sick world out there, but that's only a little bit, and only those who get instant karma for what they've done. But there's still more out there and they need to be executed. Thank you so much Beans for listening to this hard ASMR, but it's not just for everyone, only to the ones that are brave enough. I want you Beans to have a wonderful day, stay safe, and be aware of your surroundings. Stay close to your family and friends and make sure that you won't be into any danger. Once again, thank you for listening and have a wonderful day.